Hello, everybody. Uh, we are making, um, we have this great star program that we made in Python, uh, which makes random stars. And that's great. And it does a lot of drawing, which is super cool. And what we want to do was we wanted to um, set colors on the stars, which would be great. Okay. And we, we could use random colors and that's, that's all good. And that's, that's actually, you know, a good way to do this too. But I wanted to teach you something. Uh, I wanted to teach you about a thing called an array or a list. And um, this is a good place to use a list here because we could control the set of colors that we're going to use. Okay. And uh, we want to maybe, we, sometimes we want to do that. So um, an array is a fancy computer science word for just like a list. Okay. It keeps any kind of data. You can have a list of anything. And um, actually in Python, I think you can keep even kind of different types of data. But most computer um, languages, you can have a list of like numbers, or you can have a list of like colors, or you can have a list of like um, uh, files or something like that, or, or names or something like that. So um, anyway, a list is just, uh, or a fancy word for list is just, just an array. Okay, so we're going to make an array. Okay, so here's the array. Okay, array. Array. Okay. Array. <laughs> Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to call it like the C list for color list, okay? Um, in Python, you just say one way to make an array. There's a bunch of different ways to make an array. But, but um, one way to do it is just to use these um, brackets and then fill in the brackets with what you want, okay? So uh, what we had done is we had gone to the online color picker and we looked around for colors, okay? So what I might do is um, I'm going to go like this. Um, you can actually use like like um, groups of numbers like as an entry in an array in, in Python. It's called like a tuple. Um, but we're gonna, just going to use this number here. Uh, remember that 244 in base 16 is actually F4 and 125 in base 16 is 7D. And uh, 66 in base 16 is 42. <laughs> And um, what we're going to do is we're going to go like this and just find, um, I don't know, at least, like, let's say 12 colors, okay? And what you want to do is you want to cut and paste them into our array, okay? So if I go like this and I paste the, um, the thing in here, okay, um, that color's on the list, okay? And then what I can do below here is when I um, we have this great star draw style routine, okay? And like like I don't know, like right before in the beginning of the routine, I can go like this and say T color now, okay? And I can um, get the color out of the array, okay? The, the the computer can't really specifically go get get this, but it it can go get color the first color, okay? And a list is like a parking lot. And this is slot number zero, okay? So the way it like, works is like um, C list of zero. That's how you get that. So if I say this, it'll send back this, okay? C list zero is the first color, for example, okay? So what I can do is I can go like this now in the color part. So I go C T color. I can go C list um, zero. Okay, and what will happen is it'll do all the stars orange. See that? And that's great, right? Okay, so um, we can also go get another color, like let's say uh, yellow. -y. Okay, let's pick a, like a yellow like that, for example, like gold star. And I can go, um, I can go uh, like this, okay, and I can just stick it back on my list and go comma and put it in the list again. Okay, it has to be in quotes. So see that? And I can get uh, another color. So I can run this. And if I wanted to, this is this is the first place, okay? This is the second place, okay? So C list of um, one is the second color. Okay, so it's always kind of one off because they use zero as a placeholder. So if I go like this and say C list of one, it will make gold stars. And that's awesome, right? We're like enjoying that. 
Okay. And then um, I can go on like this, okay? So I'm going to stop here, and I'm going to go get a whole bunch of colors that I can use, okay? And I'm going to stick them in my array, okay? And what I want you to do is find 12 colors, okay? The list is going to get long, okay? But you can actually do this in Python uh, to, to extend your array. If you go like this and put like a slash like this, it'll let you can kind of continue. See, like right now it has no problem running, even though this is on like a different line. Okay, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get some more colors. Okay, so hang on there. So I'm back. I got a whole bunch of different colors. I want you to find your own colors. Okay, um, I'm just going to add mine to here. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, and then you can also use like there are sort of basic colors like red, yellow, green. Um, uh, I think like magenta works. Like that's a pink. Um, let me see um blue blue will work okay um you can lose like color words okay um online uh we can actually try this i'm not sure i, I think some of these work I, I, let's let's leave it at that i guess um and then um so what's going to happen is i have a c list that looks like this okay and um this on my list i have one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 colors, okay? Um, what, I, what I can do down here is what I'd like to do is pick um, a random number between um, 0 and 15, okay, to do this, okay? And actually, 15 is bad. So if I go um, the, last, the last color here, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, but the slots go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, okay? So I can go down in here, I can go C list of 14, and it'll run fine, right? Everything's sort of blue. See my, like, weird blue stars, right? Okay, I mean, that's kind of cool. Um, but... The thing is, if I go 15, it's going to like bomb out because there's no parking space up here 15. It only goes up to 14. It goes from 0 to 14. So what will happen is, um, see this? It bums out right there. So you can see like what well, let me see. It goes index out of range, okay? The numbers that I'm putting in, parking slot 0, parking slot 1, parking slot 2, parking slot three and so forth are called indexes. So this number is the index number to the array, like one, two, and stuff like that, okay? Now, I can run this, I can go like, I can go like this, for example, I could say, which color, okay? And then I can pick a random number between zero, and then guess what? Like, no matter what I have on my list, like, you might have, like, eight colors. I mean, you were supposed to have 12. You might have 12 colors. Um, I can go like this now, and I can say C, like, a length, like, which is, you say len, of C list. Okay. And then I'm going to go length of C list minus one. Okay. So, because it's going to get me 15, and I want to pick a random number between 0 and 14, right? And then if I just go like this and take this variable... And put it in here. Booyah. And then I can get all sorts of different colors. So let's see what's happening here. Well, they're all turning black. What's going on? <laughs> That's weird. Let's find out what happened here. Screwed up. Um, I figured out what happened. I ran it, I ran it, and I ran it. And um, everything is coming up black right now. Let me run this. Okay. Because um there's no, like, which color is just like a number? See this number? Okay. That's what's going on. I'm printing that out. Okay. And what I want to get is not the number here. I want to get the actual color. So what I want to print out is C list of which color. I'm getting just the index, not the color. So I want to do that. Yeah. Very good. So what we want is you want to get the, not this number, this is like the index number, I got to get the actual color, okay? So if I run this now, and I print out the C list color, you'll see like what it's going to do. <laughs>
Oh, oh, I forgot to do. Um, um, I need a bracket here and use that. Ready, run. So now there you go. And see the see the colors that are coming out. See, this is like the list of colors that are printing, so you can kind of see. And there you go. There it is. Um, here, let's make it bigger now. There you go. You can see the lovely different colored stars that you can print. Okay. Now, um, I guess what I'm saying is like let's let's you know pay attention to the colors. The color kind of matter. So we want to um, we want to you know make them make them look good. Okay. And then what we're going to do in class, I think, is vary the angle. Okay. So that's it. That's what we're looking for, something like that. That's not bad. And what we're learning how to use is we're learning how to use an array, which we set up here. And we, um, we use it by accessing which color. You can also do this because we it's like see like this. Um, you can actually just throw this entire thing right in there. And people would probably do that rather than what we're doing. So I can um, not use that. I can like kind of collapse all this. So this this can happen all in the same line. Okay. So I can pick a random number, right? And um, and this will I got to go see list of that, um, like that. So it picks the color and everything on the C list. So see how that complicated line? Like that can all happen. And then what happens is you get the colors drawn again. Okay. And people do stuff like this. So you'll see like this is this is a picking of a random number. This is accessing C list, and this is also setting color. So all of this happens at the same time, which is awesome. Okay, so go computer science, and I will uh, see you on Wednesday. Okay, and um, show me your trinket. Like, give me a link to your trinket.